When you're in Paris and you're looking for souvenirs, there is no shortage of typical tacky spots where you can get things made in China. But if you're like me and you're looking for something with just a little more quality, something that will help you relive those memories every time you see it or touch it, we're gonna take you around Paris to show you what kind of gifts and souvenirs we like to buy, where we like to buy them, and in the end, I'll tell you about how the VAT tax works so you can get cash back on some of your purchases. Allez, on y va. I love to cook and when I'm traveling, I like to find little treasures like serving dishes or towels or graters, knives, little silly things for the kitchen. And one of my favorite places in Paris to do that is right here, the Bretons La Cuisine, which literally means some noise in the kitchen. So let's go see what they have. Not only do we have yummy, delicious kinds of food souvenirs and snacks, but they also have, look at these teapots, bowls, dishes, serving platters, these little things all over. Little espresso cups, silly things. Papa poule, because Papa's a chicken. <laughs> Calling someone a chicken in French is kind of a cute thing. I don't know, oh, ma poule. It's crazy to me, but it works for the French. And that is a French nutcracker, or little egg poachers for the side of the pan. You just, I never saw that in the US but I always find silly little things here. <laughs> or happy spoons. Look, you can see right through it. <gasps> Check this out. These little spoons sit on the side of your cup. It's the silly little things. But every time you use this at home, you would think about your trip, you know? I bought a lot of gifts in this store. Just to cut your saucisson so I can get evenly sliced little pieces right there. That's awesome, we might need one of those. These little cheese boards and things, like there's always charming little things that remind me of France or that I buy for my daughter or my friends back at home so that they can enjoy a little bit of France while they're here. I love this place, but there are a lot of little stores all around Paris where you can find little treasures like that. And one of the best ways to do it is to wander the streets and to pop in one wherever you're looking around. Another one that I like is Hema, which has locations all around Paris, and they have similar kinds of things, stuff for the home, but a lot of stuff for the kitchen. Next is chocolate. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're looking for the best of the best chocolate, it's right here, Jacques Genin in Le Marais. Now they have two locations in Paris. They have this one, and they also have one near the Eiffel Tower. And one of the things you absolutely want to try besides their chocolates is their caramel. They have a mango caramel that is absolutely amazing. Now for chocolates, we did a video on the best chocolates in Paris, and I'm gonna put a link in the description, but let's go inside and check it out. Let's go. Now, one of the things about Jack Gina is this chocolate is actually pretty pricey. It's high quality, but it's pricey. So if you're looking for a really good chocolate, but it's a little bit more affordable, you should go to A La Mer de Famille. And they have, I believe, 14 locations throughout Paris. They have one on the Rue Claire, but they're basically everywhere. And that is also an amazing place if you want to bring some chocolate to the office or to some friends that are not chocolate connoisseur. If they're chocolate connoisseur, it's definitely Jacques Genin. Or if it's for you, it's Jacques Genin. But if you want something a little bit more run of the mill, A La Mer de Famille makes amazing chocolate at a very affordable price. Another thing I like to buy for souvenirs is clothes because when I wear those things again, I'm right back where I was having memories of my trip. And it's no secret that I like stripes. And when I'm buying striped shirts, Amerlux is my go-to. But other than striped shirts, I like to buy fine cotton shirts and socks and scarves and all kinds of stuff. So for men's items, there's good quality stuff at stores like Cotton Dew, and you'll find those all around Paris. And believe it or not, going to a local marché is a great place to find cute little dresses and shirts and scarves and hats and things. Or you could just get lost in Le Marais with tons of concept stores and thrift shops or fripperies. 
So one of the things that I love to get in Paris are knives, whether they're tableware knives or pocket knives or cooking knives. But you have to be careful in Paris because there's a lot of places that sell imitations or fakes. So we found this little store right here near Place des Vosges that sells authentic Laguiole and Opinel knives. So if you're looking for quality knives, that would be the place to go because they have some amazing stuff. So let's go inside and check it out. Bonjour. So look at this, you have these, uh, those are tableware knives. So these are authentic Laguiole knives. You can see you have the name right there. And you can recognize it here, it has the little B. But even the copies actually have the little B, so you have to be careful. If there is a B, that doesn't mean it's authentic. Let me just put it that way. Six Laguiole like authentic knives is $253. You know, if you see a set of six knives for 100 bucks, it's probably not the real thing, right? They have all kinds of pocket knives here with a little corkscrew, all the Laguiole like authentic, like, these little pocket knives and everything, they're about 150 bucks. But I'm talking about this is a high quality knife. This is really, really good stuff, those knives. I mean, that is some high quality knife. And this is the Opinel knife. This is the quintessential French boy pocket knife. Uh, I still have mine from when I was a kid and I bought one for, uh, for my son, Charlie, as soon as we got here. says, you need to get yourself an open nail. Um, this is a you know, camping side, just a, um, a pocket knife that you have in your pocket. For me, it's very uh, meaningful. Uh, all Boy Scouts, uh, basically, I don't know many French boys that didn't own an open nail at one point in their life. So just you know, a little pocket knife that you put in your pocket. Those actually make for a great gift. And this is just 25 bucks, so, uh, and it comes with a little pouch and everything, so that makes a great gift. Another thing I love to bring home as gifts or for myself is the toiletries, because in France, the toiletries feel different, smell different, they just are different. I'm delighted to find little stores like this one on Rue de Rosier, where all the products are made in France. They're high quality, smell amazing, and there are more stores where you can buy these toiletries and take them home. Uh, Sabon has a couple of stores around Paris. Any pharmacy will have high quality Marseille type soaps. So if you're looking for the soaps, the body scrubs, lotions, all kinds of personal products, little shops like this are amazing and if you want to bring back some knickknacks and like some typical souvenirs of the little mini Eiffel Towers there are stores everywhere around Paris and Montmartre or Place Saint-Michel but this little store is our favorite it's about a block from Notre Dame in this direction, Saint Chapelle is one block in that direction, and it's kind of like a standalone store. But what we like about these stores is they have all the t-shirts and all the kind of stuff that someone may ask you to bring back. Like, can you bring me back a little mini Eiffel Tower and a mug that says I love Paris or I love Paris t-shirt? Another thing I like to buy and bring back to friends in the States is things from a stationery store, which might sound a little general, but you'll find amazing gems in there and you never know what you're going to get. But for sure, you're going to find some special gems like specialty pens, puzzles, little items for the office, leather books, all kinds of little treasures. And some of them have excellent little home decor things as well. And this place, was now is in the Choiselle Passage right by the opera and I always find things I love here. Come on. Ah, oh, and the little cards. They have these 3D cards that are stunning. I have those at home. I'm a big puzzle fan. They're a little expensive though. 41 bucks for the puzzle. The little lock on there. But see like these little wax dip things? And then you get the stamper. This one has the Eiffel Tower or your initials. Little shops like this around Paris. This is one of my top favorite. And there's another one of my top favorite right by the Jacobin in Saint-Germain. It's called Grim Art. That place has been around with, I mean, the floorboards are over 300 years old. So like they say Benjamin Franklin ate right around there. He probably walked on those same floors that I get to walk on. It's just amazing what you can find in the stationery stores of Paris. Great gifts, great memories, wonderful souvenirs. Now, if you want to bring back some macarons, there are macaron stores everywhere. Boulangerie have macarons. There's all the famous places that you've heard about, but this place 
in my opinion, is the best macaron in Paris. So let's go inside and let's see what they have. She speaks very good. Perfect. Another thing I like to bring home as a souvenir for myself or as a gift is home decor. Little things to go around the house to pretty it up a bit so I can look at them and enjoy them and remember my trip all the time. And it may seem funny to go to a bookstore, but Brentano's is a spot that has adorable little things. It's one of my go-to spots for gifts. Let's go inside and look. And just outside of that store, you've got the opera right up the street. Pierre Hermé is next door. Cedric Grillet is right over here. And we're just up the street from the Louvre. But there's lots of little places like this that you can find all around Paris. The Bouquinis, which are the little green boxes all up and down the Seine that sell art, vintage magazines, and different kinds of things to set around your house. And one of the cool things about the Bouquinis along the Seine is that each box is an individual private seller. So these are small business owners that are out there making a living and selling unique stuff and running their own little business right there on the Seine. I love supporting them. If you want to bring back some luxury, some designer clothes with you, one of the best places to do it is at La Samaritaine right there behind me. Follow me. So we're inside the Samaritan, there is six levels of all the luxury brands that are owned by this giant group. And here you'll find all those luxury and designer brands under one roof in this location. In the heart of Paris, we're like footsteps from Le Louvre or footsteps from Leal. It couldn't be as central as, as it is right here. Now, Colleen and I are not in two luxury spots, but if one of our friends wanted to buy some luxury and designer clothes, we would bring them right here. And as a bonus, we never go back to the United States before we stop at the Monoprix and pick up a few things like candies and chocolates and cookies. That will make a lot of people happy and you're not breaking the banks, but there is stuff that is unique here in France that you can get in the Monoprix that is absolutely awesome. So follow me, I'll show you. Yeah, so look at this. You got tons like Eclair de Genie, like some chocolate bars you can pick up here. They're like six euros. And then you have all kinds of other chocolates uh, like this one, like chocolate bar for, for five euros. I mean, that is going to make someone super happy. And look at this, even in the supermarket, you could actually bring back a little Angelina chocolate right there or a box. Or look at these little Florentine or Trois Chocolats. You know, that can make someone super happy for three euros. All of these, the Saint-Michel, that's perfect. The Saint-Michel with some chocolate filling here, that is a typical French cookie that is just really good. And it's just two euros. I mean, you can get three of these boxes and make quite a few friends happy. And look right here, you have some uh, big old coffee mug, Paris. Uh, you got some pencils, you got little bottles, you got a little sunglass holder. I mean, it's still a little pricey, but it's probably half of what you would pay in a tourist shop. So I'm telling you, Monoprix is a great way for you to buy tons of stuff to make a lot of people happy without breaking the bank. That's an insider tip. Now let me tell you about the VAT tax and how you can get your refund. The VAT tax or value added tax is already included in the price of retail merchandise. Tourists can file to get the tax they paid refunded. You'll need your receipts, passport, travel dates, and some paperwork from the store. And refunds are generally between 12 and 20%, so it's worth doing. This can be processed directly at some stores like Gallery Lafayette or inside the airport before you check your bags. And we put together a document with some details about VAT tax refunds and there's a link in the description below for a free download with all kinds of information about how to get your tax refunded.